aunties, it's your girl Toya forever. Back at it with another vlog. Whose phone is this? Oh, it's not mine. Today we are going house hunting. Hunt. Okay, I want to purchase a property before the end of this year. We've been looking at new constructions, but new constructions that are move in ready because I don't have the time to wait six months to a year. So let's just go and see what's on the market. Hopefully we do find a house or a townhouse or a condo. We need something before the end of 2020. That is my goal. Let me go down here right now. Let me go down here. You driving right? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Quick hey, question. Hey. All right. Yeah. Where's your business phone? <sighs> don't Yo, don't give me that. I lost my business phone again. One of them kids misplaced it. The kids, I don't know. the kids misplaced it. Yes, it wasn't me. I allow my children to play their little games on my business phone. Mm-hmm. So I'm working from my personal phone, and I cannot stand it because right now I'm trying to upload content. And it's taking forever in a day. Can you please <laughs> like, like find the business phone, help me, assist me, and take it home with you at night? You know what? I'm, I think I'm gonna start doing that. All right. All right, let go. Let go. All right, y'all. Okay, so we're in the first home. This is like an office area. I like how high the ceilings are. I wish it was actually like you can overlook. It feels homey in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like the kitchen. I love both island lights are pretty. That backsplash is everything. So this is only two stories, right? Yes. And there's a room back here. I would say this could be my mom's room, but we need to get her a place, hunty. You better get her a place, Rose, over there, you know, quiet. I love the fireplace. Oh, this is pretty. Outside. I love that. We have a fireplace outside. Yeah, it's pretty. This is a cute patio area. It's giving modern farmhouse mm -hmm. it's vibes. They look upstairs because we have a lot of touring to do today. So, oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, no, there's three floors. Oh, look at how big the master bedroom is. Wow. Yes, I love this master. The, it had the sunroom. I knew you were going to love it's that. It's so pretty. I love the sunroom so I can have like a little sitting area. Mm -hmm. Read the Bible, honey. Okay. okay. I know that's right. Oh, okay. The ensuite so spacious. Station. It has a tub and a shower. Okay, the walk-in closet is big. It's kind of dark. Mm-hmm. Like, it's deep though. Yeah, I like it. So this is, and you know, that could be Aya's room. Cause you know, I don't like sleeping by herself. And you love your baby like, so you much. Love baby guys. Yes, this is an option that you can add. The third story. Right. I didn't realize it had this. Well, Whoa, um, it looks like a huge play oh, area like for the kids. Yeah. yeah. You got to see it. Bunk beds. You know what? I'm or even if you did Samia and Aya like Yeah, bunk Samia beds. wants to share a room with Aya, which makes my life so much easier. Anybody want to share rooms here? Look at this. Oh one. gosh, hold on. Let me look at these rooms real quick. So there's one. That's my room. There's five bedrooms up here. One, two, three. Ciao. Look, we won't have to count it up after, you know what I'm saying? Gee. I love it. Oh, look at oh look this is this is the baby room technically. Yeah. But if you wanted to give Aya her own little nook. Oh cute. Mm -hmm. But I don't, room. it's not my dream. It would be temporary. I mean, if anything, you know, when you do get your dream, you just turn this into an investment property. Yeah, so that's what we do with the townhouse. Ah. Uh, if I was renting, I wouldn't want to rent no big old house. That's a huge but mortgage. the thing about it is, if this is the same price as the townhome, you know, why settle for the townhome? Jeez! Oh, yeah. This is in the city. This but is you just got to determine if you're willing to sacrifice oh, okay, location for space. Theater, we can just put the kids up here. Hey. Okay, okay. another bedroom. So this could be your uh, your mom's quarters. <laughs> I told you she need to get her own spot. <laughs> this is my room. That's bomb. <laughs> I heard you. <laughs> I love it. Like a little media room, game room, you know, toy room, kids room. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is my thinking. I want something in the city. I want to invest in more property. So what I wanted to do was get a townhouse and then build out a home. I was thinking condo or townhouse in the city, live there temporarily mm -hmm. and uh, move out when the house is complete and then, you know, rent it out. Right. Do you think that's a good idea or do you think that I should yeah, I mean, rent the townhome? Even if I want, lived here, mm -hmm. this is still not the home that I see myself in long term, right? right it's right, a beautiful right. home. But, but it's not you. It's not me. If I wanted to rent this out, who's renting out this big old house? It's More easier options. to rent out smaller spaces. Yeah. And the turnaround is faster as a real estate agent. Especially what do you think? 
especially in the city, you'll be okay to find someone Easy. to rent right mm -hmm. away. Because people want to be like near the malls, sure. in the city, Midtown, mm -hmm. Atlanta. Mm -hmm. You look cute, by the way. I know. You look cute. I love her top. I love Rosa. She's like the best. Do you want to say hi? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, no, I'm She's like shy. Okay, let's go. What do you have against the townhouse? Like, why don't you think I should okay. get the townhouse? It's, what? it's not that I'm against the townhouse. Yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous. Right. But the thing about it is, you know, you were stressing to me a few days ago, even yesterday, you were saying, I just feel like if I'm paying all that money, right. I might as well be in a house. You know, that's the trade off with, you know, in, in Atlanta. Be the closer in the you city. live to the city, you're mm -hmm. paying more money. Right. I don't want you to be in a place where you're regretting your decision. So that's why I'm trying to have you fully. Um, you know tour these homes which is you know a little further out so that you know what the trade-offs you need to know for sure by looking at both sides right now since I'm looking at the townhouse as an investment property mm -hmm. right and it's in the city mm -hmm. it would be worth my while it is a temporary situation right but it's also a very nice townhouse I can't wait and it's cute. so cute I mm -hmm. really like it it is small you know what I'm saying but at the end of the day the point is it's going to be an investment property mm -hmm. like I came up living in dang shelters you know what I'm saying right. shelters studio apartments in one bedroom no room like mm -hmm. I'm used to downsizing downgrading my life upgrading you know so what you it's, want. Te it's temporary yeah I'm not against the townhome I'm just saying I the reason why because when you brought that that kind of raised a red flag it did thing. when you were saying I don't know if I should spend this much money on a townhome I'm like okay well let's go out so you can experience what it's like living on the outskirts, outskirts, and you can see what the trade-off is. I remember living in, you know, attached homes, and I can hear people, like, beside me doing stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't <laughs> want, is that going to happen? Or are townhomes uh, more like, are the you're walls? you're living next to maybe a married couple, or when well, no, I was single A freaky too. couple? Yeah, married <laughs> single people say, hey. Listen. That's the only downfall i feel like yeah just, just being able, but and i'm know. loud so they'll probably complain because i'm I, i'm loud so let's just go look at a few more homes outside of the city mm -hmm. just to see like what we can get i don't want to be out here I, I don't like these houses yeah but i mean put me in a townhouse well, or a condo house. but you know what the thing with condos the last condo Ali and I toured, it was on the 15th floor. I think it was 19. It was a high rise and yeah. it was so high. She didn't even walk in the apartment. I couldn't even walk in the apartment. <laughs> she was so scared. I was so scared. I was terrified. I'm and I have children. So what I, was I even thinking? I can't do <laughs> you it. You poor thing. Yeah. So let's go in here. This is cute. I like it. I like this. Okay. So in my dream home, I want double doors. This is only one. Why did you guys bring me here? Don't show. Me. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Echoey, echoey. No, it's not. That it's dining room's huge. You already know, dang. This looks just like the kitchen you have. Already have. My kitchen. Literally. <laughs> the backsplash and everything. Oh, I love. What is this called? Farm, farm sink. Uh, farmhouse sink. Or sink, not tub. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's a tub. I actually. <laughs> you know. I like the townhouse. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Oh, this. Is Probably the maps are made. Oh, what's it's like a leading into a whole little okay. Yeah, you have your little I'm office nook. Yes. Okay, oh, the tub is cute. Tub. Yeah, and then a walk in closet. Yeah, I like looking through when they're not furnished. Yeah, because you get a real and you can put your like, yeah, own vision because sometimes the, the way they stage things makes you, you know, ignore what the house is for what it really is. Yeah, did you see that? Is that a, oh, there's a whole nother space back here. It's like a secret. Like a little nook. This could be the office. That could be an office. That yeah. could be storage. That could be a warehouse. Uh. This space is up here. Oh. It looks just like the same one that was in the other house. Right, I think this is. The chandelier? This is like a media room here. Media room, yeah. okay. Okay. Yo, I don't like carpet. Yeah, you have to rip this up. This is big. Another bedroom. This is real big. And it's a sick, it's cheaper than the uh, townhouse. That's what I'm saying, like, you know, that's just the trade off location. Jeez, like, why can't we put this house in a sit? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not willing to live so far from the city. What do y'all think? Comment below. Do you like this house? This is too country for me. Okay. I can't live out here. But that's where like all the um, you 
know, high profile individuals like rich people, they have their mansions like out here. They can stay out here. Mableton, um, McDonough, Marietta. Areas yeah. that are, yeah, low profile because. Is there Rick Ross's mansion out there in Fayetteville? Maybe. Maybe he can rent a quarter <laughs> of his house to me. <laughs> Ricky Rose. Hey, what's, what it do? What it do? What it do? Real estate has always been a part of me, you mm -hmm. know, owning real estate. Mm -hmm. And so. Aliyah and I, we were actually introduced to two prophets that are so amazing. The first prophet told me, he was like, you know what, I see you more in real estate. And then the other prophet, when we went to he confirmed it. their church, he confirmed it. You know, you mm -hmm. need to be in real estate. Watch so plants. that's why I'm like, let me get into real estate more in Atlanta. Well, you already had the desire yeah, to I, do it. Right, I had so. the desire. So they just confirmed that desire. That's why I'm so adamant in getting in this townhouse. So I'm forced to get into real estate. That's my whole right. and that's, vision around this. That's great because... I don't mind living out in the on the outskirts, mm -hmm. but I want to be able to build something new. There's not a lot of homes on the market right now due to COVID and stuff, and a lot of people aren't selling their homes, but I've always, you know, had a dream to build my home from mm -hmm. the ground up. Mm -hmm. Well, I've been blessed to have conversations with like wealthy men, yeah. and one thing they will always tell Invest. me, and this is multiple people who, I mean, I'm talking like, when I say generational wealth, I mean, just, spitting out, spewing out of yeah. They will always tell me, if I didn't learn anything else, didn't even go to school, mm -hmm. didn't do nothing. Right. I would, I would, I would tell myself, learn real estate. I, I forgot who had the quote, um, y'all could comment the quote, but I think someone said, you know, learning, something about learning how to make money in your sleep. Right. That's the level, like, we trying to get to, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just being smart with the money that you have to make right. it multiply exactly. for you. you know? This whole pandemic has really opened my eyes up to you know, real estate and investing and like really being smart with your money mm -hmm. because you never know what could happen in the future. Right. Like this COVID thing just caught everybody off, off guard. guard. People lost jobs, their homes, so foreclosures. Sad. All our hunties out there watching, you know, we need to start being smart with our money. We always have to make sure that we have uh, an emergency fund, security, just to make sure that we and our family are are good, you know? Mm -hmm. So that is where my mindset is. I'm not all about like the material things like right, that anymore. Right, I, shoot, let me wear the same pants every day, hunty. Okay. <laughs> you gonna wash it? <laughs> well, inevitably. <laughs> I just, I just give God all the glory. Praise, <laughs> praise His name. He's worthy. I want Aaliyah to do an <laughs> outfit of the day for you guys when we get out the car. Okay. <laughs> okay. First of all, I look no, like no, no, no. <laughs> so when you have fun. All right. So today we give a twelve-year-old boy vibes. Yes. Band. You need a hat though. <laughs> you need a New York hat. I got on some sweatpants from. Yes. Because <laughs> I had to stay the night last night. Anyway, assistant life. Um, some, some, what are these? Nikes. These are Nikes. Yep. And a tank top. From where? The toy is classic. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. I mean. It's literally still under construction. Be ready in the next, what, month and a half? Uh-huh. But I'm not feeling it. Wait until you see the town hall and how cute it is. I mean, it's smaller, but cute. It's smaller than this? Um, Cause this is kind of actually like- Actually the main floor, it's, it's a different layout. Right. Yeah, this is kind of like one of those in-between homes and town homes, so, I think. Yeah. It's like in-between. So it's attached, but it's like townhouse style. Vibe, yeah. Vibe, yeah, cause it doesn't have a backyard and all that. That's Jack and Jill oh. over there. I'm guessing that's a stand and shower tub. A it's cute, tub. but I mean, it's not for me yeah. because we're still in the outskirts. I would purchase this in the city, not in these boondocks. Gotcha. All right. Okay. <laughs> well, at least we toured a property that's kind of like in between. So now we're going all the way town home just to see what that's looking like. And we'll catch y'all in a minute. Hey, 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 hey. Yo, so we about to go to the town house. We in the A A A for show. Y'all gotta go cop this song by Mike hey. Smith though. Right, cop this song. Hey, hey. I got a bankroll. Yeah, I got a bankroll. Yeah, every 
Every time I walk outside, I'm gonna lay low. Bang roll, bang roll, bang roll. I got a bang roll. They're gonna bang right in. Every time I walk outside, so I'm guessing this is your area. <laughs> I'm guessing this is where the Spirit of the Lord is taking you. Wells Fargo, okay. We're going to the bank today, yo. There go Cheesecake Factory over there. Okay, period. So we're at Cheesecake Factory and I'm eating chicken tacos with a side. What is that? A bunch of vegetables. And Aaliyah has Ooh. shrimp Alfredo pasta. That looks mm -hmm. so good. Are we out here. Yo. And more importantly, they're going Leah down the street. Right, Leah moving down the street. <laughs> In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Okay. Hey, help me out here. Yeah. But yeah, we're supposed to be touring. Um, well, I mean, we're in the area. We can show them the apartment, right? So let's get busy. Something is wrong with you. You're the only one can handle what I've been through. Let me call up the girl. We ain't going to the club. Oh my bad. Club Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Walmart over there. They go Walmart Olive Garden. You see what I'm saying? We in this city. Let's turn it. I know I'm a hot mess right now, but and I have to go to the bathroom. But oh my god. You ready to see? <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is my front foyer. Okay. And here we have the living room. I love this. It's a townhouse in the city. Okay, although it's the same price as my Korean house. <laughs> Let's just not talk about that. I love the white countertops. Isn't it pretty? And cabinetry, yeah. And a little eat-in kitchen. Mm -hmm. Or I mean, you can turn this into like a little dining area. Mm -hmm. Or it can be an office space. There's a little deck out here. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the pool. There's a pool across the street. Follow me. Follow me house. <laughs> a little powder room. Closet. Closet. I this is like, really spacious. I like to ride. Let's go up. Oh, this is so cute. So these are two bedrooms here. So this would be like kids room, kids room. Mm -hmm. Aya's room, Samia's room, they can share a room she wants to share. I like their interior design. It's Another cute. room. Staging. You know, cute, cute. These in size, for sure. Oh, they have like a little double door closet. It's adorable. Bathroom here, laundry room. Bathroom. And this, my friend, is my room. The master. The master. Oh, it's lovely. I like it. I love the wall. To cow. So I'm about to live a minimalistic life mm. in my town home. Yeah. So what do you think? Okay, the closet is small, I'm not gonna lie. Look, I mean it's small and it's narrow. Ooh, we yeah. So we're gonna have to figure this out. Mm -hmm. The reason it's narrow is because there's an elevator in here. Mm. What do you mean an elevator? There's an elevator in here. <laughs> I have an elevator in my house? Okay, there's wow. an elevator in the model home. If you want one, then you can have one. Um, but if you don't have one, it'll make your closet bigger. Oh, wow. Okay. That is cray cray. So you can have an elevator in your townhouse. Yes. Okay, cool. And then there's another room downstairs. With this model, it's it doesn't have a door, so it's just open so the kids can use it as like a media room. But honestly, the kids play all over the house, but that is going to stop because I'm actually going to decorate my house the way I want to decorate it. So I did invest in a lot of, you know, custom, good quality pieces and fabrics. So I'm gonna just make the kids destroy downstairs. Yes, I know that's right. They have a whole yeah. area. So they have a whole area. They have this area here. I'll have to like bolt it at the top so they don't try to get out. And uh, this is the garage over here. This is a little uh, mud room. And um, what would this be, Rosa? It's another room. It is. It's another bedroom. But they made it to like an office, like this office is a slash copy room. I didn't know that this had another bedroom down here. Oh my gosh. So it's actually four bedroom plus that little sitting area. Right. So Love this it. This is more like the, what they call the um, roommate floor plan. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like that. And you know what? We might be able to accommodate my mom. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> After all. I like it. Mm -hmm. And it has a tiny, tiny backyard. And she will have kind of like a floor to her stuff yeah. a little bit. So. A teeny, tiny backyard. I love, it. Private, I love it. You got a jacuzzi back here? I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I think this I is where. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? What am I thinking? I like it. I love it, actually. Love it's it. a lot more spacious than I thought it would I be. I love it. It's nice and open. It's, it's nice open. and cozy. Yeah. Like, and I feel like it's big enough even to accommodate you and your kids. Right. It is. And we're like, right in the city. Literally. We're in the city. Mm -hmm. And we're oh, in a yeah. safe space. Like, yeah, a safe, a safe space. space. And it's, it's gated. also gated, right? Mm -hmm. There's a pool, there's a fitness center. I never do the fitness center because I'm doing orange theory hunty. Right. But the kids have the pool mm -hmm. and I just love it. Mm -hmm. So cute. It's really cute and I love it. Mm -hmm. And it's just really like, like this you room. You never think like a townhouse is so spacious. Like this is so much room in here. And mm -hmm. my living room is this big right here. Mm -hmm. I feel the spirit of the Lord I in this place. <laughs> this townhouse comment below do you love it it's a pretty penny for this townhouse but you know what it's worth it because at the end of the day I'm looking at this property as an investment property and mm -hmm. I'm actually gonna enjoy it yeah. I actually get to feel um, the culture like mm -hmm. here in Atlanta yeah. so I'm really excited about this space I think this is where I'm supposed to be in this in this time. I can make it like my own style. Right, you know what I'm how saying? you want it to be. Yeah. So and I really, it can stay that way because you know the kids have their own area. Yeah, they have their own <laughs> area and make sure that we kind of bolt the door because Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't getting out, child. I is the runaway. Yeah, I is a runaway. <laughs> Every time Mama looks, she's like trying to pull the uh, patio yep. area door by the kitchen. Yep. And I'm like, girl, how did you manage? You're not even tall enough. I'm the stairs. <laughs> yeah, so I think it's great. I mm. think it's 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 amazing and I think that this is going to be the next step. So let's buy a house. Let's do it. Let's purchase the house. <laughs>